Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, guess what? Another Humble Bundle. I don't know what's going on at Humble, but wow, are they going after game developers hard right now. I say I cover these bundles, I'm going to cover these bundles, and this one is the Unity and Unreal RPG Essentials by Blink Bundle. Uh, and to be honest, it's pretty nice, and it's actually for both engines, or as we're going to see in just a moment, it's for several different engines. Now, this is a number of RPG-themed assets from the developer Blink, available in both formats. I think the easiest way to start things off is to actually just go ahead and show you some. So let's go over and check out uh, the Unity game engine. So here is one of the assets. This is the Orc Chief, I believe. Uh, they're all stylized, so if you like the kind of World of Warcraft kind of style we got going on, uh, that is what you are getting here. Everything here is in prefab and ready-to-go format, uh, and basically just drag and drop them into your world. I'll show you how all these things are organized in the bundle itself. So you are getting uh, Unity assets, but on top of that, you are also getting... Unreal Engine asset. So here is the exact same pack. In this case, um, same guys, three of them, three different variations. And you'll notice here, all of them are rigged with a number of different animations, which by the way, uh, so are the Unity ones. I'll go ahead and run this example so you can see some of the animations going on. So let's go over here, take a look. So we've got death animations, casting animations, buff, shooting a bow, uh, combat idol, one-handed attack, and so on. By the way, if you need weapons, well, they've got you covered in this pack as well. So you can see here, we've got a number of different animations here for each model. Uh, each model, as you can see from the uh, different skins, can be themed, a number of different skins provided for each individual model here. So that is what the pack looks like. So now let's get head on over to the Godot game engine, and here you go. Uh, I had to set this guy up, so if you're going to use these guys in the Godot engine, and I'll show you how you can do this in just a few minutes in terms of getting the assets out, uh, but as you can see, it works just fine in Godot as well. Uh, you do have to recreate the materials yourself. Uh, that's the only challenge. It does come with all of the textures you need, but you're going to have to manually create the materials to get it working in uh, the Godot game engine. But this is the same guy that we saw, one of the three different chiefs running in uh, the Godot engine. Although, interestingly enough, I couldn't find his teeth texture, so uh, he's got green teeth. But yeah, uh, you can run it a variety of different engines. Uh, that's the nice thing about this pack. So here we go. Again, Unreal Engine, the Unity Engine, and then finally the Godot engine. Uh, on top of that, I have another example here of another asset in the pack. So as I mentioned, uh, you can get a variety of different weapons. Here is the uh, axe pack. So as you can see, whoops, unless I go right through the world, uh, a number of different styles of axes in that pack. On top of that, uh, there are a number of different categories. They're all in that same stylized art. So we also have spells, staves, uh, scythes, and bows and crossbows in this pack. I'll go ahead and open up the bows and crossbows one. Uh, let's go back here, get the demo level opened up so you can see what it looks like here. So you got a variety of different highly stylized uh, bows, very consistent art style. So if that art style meshes with your game, this could be a nice solid pack to pick up. All right, so that's the end of the hands-on portion. Let's go back and check out the Humble side of things. If you do not know how Humble works, it's a collection of stuff, in this case, uh, mostly 3D models, some textures, some icons, organized into a theme, in this case, RPGs. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, the charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. Now, what you're going to notice here, you have uh, three different tiers here. So the $1 tier, you are getting... Um, a, a stylized male RPG character, a bear, uh, an orc warrior, and then a bunch of textures. So we got the uh, ice textures and lava textures, as well as the stylized sword. So if you need to create your game world to match the art style of your characters, these texture packs will go a long way towards that. So not a bad value at the $1 tier. At the next tier up, uh, doesn't make any sense at all to cover it as an individual tier, because it's basically uh, within $6 of the full tier. But hey, let's go through it. So this one is... Uh, the average or median price, you're looking at about $26, I think, U.S. right now. Uh, and here you're getting the Prisoner Armor Set, the Novice Armor Set, the Centurion Armor Set, the Adventurer Armor Set, Bear Armor Set. So, again, a number of armor sets. we got more weapon classes. In this case, we've got uh, Daggers. Pistols and muskets, claws and gauntlets, and shields. And then we've got a number of icons here. So the 3000 plus RPG icon pack, the 250 NPC icon pack, stylized Egypt textures. Again, if you need to have a world where the texturing matches what you've seen in this pack, you can do so. Egyptian style, Atlantis style. And uh, then we've got a deer, a wolf, a stag, and a moose. As a Canadian, I like to see the moose represented here. Uh, stylized orc warlock. 
uh, Orc Hunter, low polygon human. So this one is one of the only, when you get into these low polys, uh, it's kind of a completely different art style. So you would have to choose the low poly, poly or the stylized. These two won't mesh well together. But from what I've seen of these guys, they should mesh fairly well with the Sinti pack. So here is low poly armor, for example. By the way, any of these you can actually drill down into and click here will bring you to, uh, in this case, the Unity Asset Store. So uh, that is the median tier and let's go to the maxian tier. So that's uh, 40 bucks US. Uh, sorry, $40 Canadian, which is 30-ish dollars US. Our dollar is just doing bad things. So for about 30 bucks US, you're getting the Minotaur set, stylized bows and crossbows, which we saw. Uh, no, we didn't actually. That was from a generalized weapon pack. So we got even more bows available here. Uh, RPG icons, forest textures, a spider, uh, the orc boss, which is what we saw across all three different game engines. Uh, the boar armor set, the stylized desert texture armor set, stylized axes, the dragon hunter, the beast hunter, the demon hunter, the drag... Um, Dragonic armor set, the Bane Lord armor set, stylized staves, uh, spellbooks, and wands, uh, size. So it does look like there's some duplication because I got all of those together in a single pack downloads. So I'm not sure what's going on there with the weapons. But as you can see, you're getting basically a huge collection of um, character armor sets, uh, some critters to fight against, some generalized animals like deers and moose uh, or meeses uh, to populate your world. By the way, meeses is not plural for, for moose. Do not take anything from what I just said. Um, not a bad pack if you're working in that stylized art form. It's weird to see these two kind of low poly, not matching kind of sets thrown in with the mix with everything else. Uh, but if you're working on an RPG style game, you've got a ton of characters to populate your world, a ton of weapons to equip them with, and then a ton of textures for world building with a consistent art style. So not a bad pack if uh, that World of Warcrafty stylized art style is what you are going for. Uh, and again, it is for both Unity and Unreal Engine. So how does this work? Well, when you buy it, you get uh, here. So you're not redeeming these on either asset store. They are uh, zip downloads that you download directly from Humble. Nice thing is Humble has a uh, pretty fast server. So for example, if I want to download this 100 megabyte bear, I click on the bear, I wait uh, less than five seconds and the bear is here. So their servers have good download speeds. If you have solid download speeds, to connect to them, but you do not get updates. So basically, you don't redeem these on either asset store. They are, this is a snapshot in time. So if there's a new version of them released in the future, you're obviously not getting it. But there is a ton here. And see, like some of these uh, texture and material packs are huge. So 11 gigabytes there. Uh, and then the other texture packs, again, across, the, so the bowl, all the bows and such pack that I saw. So here, this is a super pack of all the other assets, but it's not sold as such. So this is the one I downloaded but earlier on. Uh, that was four gigs in size. Um, so some of these are pretty big, but again, you download them directly from Humble Server and you are good to go. In terms of what you actually get out of this, well, let's go take a look. So here's my project. Go to my downloads folder here. So you get a zip file, for example, the stylized uh, bear that I just done. Here, I'll use that one as an example. So here's the bear I downloaded. What you just do is go ahead and extract that out. And then what you will find is you get two more zip files. Inside of those zip files, you get the Oh, actually, this one's a little weird because this one is just a folder. This one is another zip. So let's say I wanted the Unity version of it. I extract it out. So we have another folder there. And then in the Unity, it is a Unity package. So if you want to go ahead and use that, it's pretty simple. Basically, inside of Unity, in your asset area, do import package, custom package, and then locate the package you want to bring it in. Um, and then it will prompt to ask you which parts to bring in. I've already brought this one in. I didn't mean to click OK there. But that is how you bring the assets in. And then again, this one's going to fail out because I've already downloaded that particular package. But that is how you'll get them into uh, the Unity engine. Uh, for Unreal Engine, uh, it's very similar. So what you're going to want to do is basically uh, take that zip file within there, extract it out like so. And then what you're going to find is there is a U project in there. And then literally, it's just a matter of I'm going to switch it to Unreal 5.1 because it loads faster. And then just open it up. And it is a standalone project. The only downside that you're going to find for Unreal Engine is you're going to have to open the project and then export the contents into your project of choice. A bit cumbersome. Uh, there is a plugin that manages all those things for you. I'm going to probably cover it on the channel at some point in time. But here, this guy, you'll notice a blink, humble bundle, NPCs, stylized, forest animals, bears. And then there's a map folder with a showcase. We can go ahead and load that one up. And that is how you will load that actual content into Unreal Engine. Pretty straightforward. Um, here, I'll pause for a second while the shaders compile. And ta-da! We have a number of bears. Gives you an idea of what they look like. The variety of yet another model in this pack. Again, a very consistent art style. Some of these bears are a, a little bit more 
uh, scary. And then down here, we got a little bit more Canadian. Uh, so again, a number of different animations available for them. You can see a preview of what that is all about right here. So everything is fully rigged, a number of different animations, and a number of skins uh, for each individual creature. So that is how you get them into Unreal Engine. Now, the question maybe had, okay, how exactly did you get that into the Godot Engine? Well, what you're going to want to do is this process right here. What you're going to do is extract out the Unity version of it and then use uh, this Python program called Unity Package underscore Extractor, and that will create it for you. Another option you have, actually, instead of extracting it from the command line, if you do have Unity installed, uh, what you're going to find is if you go and look at the way that these are uh, extracted. So we go to orcs here. You're going to notice here there's these meshes and textures folder. So open up meshes folder. And you can literally just open that guy up and copy over. So right here, you can see the FBXs are available. So literally just copy the FBX over to your project and use it in whatever the hell game engine you wish to do. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the bundle. Now I should point out right now, I started this video off saying there are a lot of Unity bundles going, oh, sorry, uh, Humble bundles going on right now for developers, and I wasn't lying. So this is the Unity and Unreal RPG Essentials by Blink bundle. On top of that, we have the ultimate uh, game dev assets bundle for Unreal developers. We have the ultimate assets and sounds bundle. I covered that one yesterday. That's 2D pixel art and audio packs. We have the Unity Tools Encore and then the Unity Art Encore available as well. Those were two of the best selling bundles from earlier in this year that they brought back for a limited time. We have the Blender for uh, Game Developers by Game Dev TV tutorial course there. And then we have the Unreal Nature and Fantasy Assets for Unreal Engine developers. And then just to make it even better, we've got a G-Develop bundle, uh, the no-code game dev bundle, all going on right now. So there is a ton going on at Humble. I kind of wish they would like cut it out, spread this stuff out more throughout the year so that it didn't seem like all of my videos are Humble related. Uh, but obviously, this is a bundle of interest to game developers, so I have covered it. Once again, available in every engine that you could imagine. So obviously, out of the box, it comes with Unity, which is going to be easier to work with because it will have prefabs. Same thing uh, with the... Um, if you go over to the Unreal Engine side of things, uh, everything is blueprints and literally drag and drop into your world. But if you are willing to do a little bit of extra work, you can get these assets working in whichever engine you wish. Uh, just generally the easiest route is to use the Unity asset. And as I mentioned earlier on, I have a tutorial that will show you how to actually use Unity assets from the command line via Python command. Uh, and then you can just use them like FBX files from any other source that you wished. So a very solid bundle. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. And do you think that Humble are going a little overboard with game development bundles as well? Let me know this. Comments down below. Talk to you all later and goodbye.